But what we needed and what we didn't have in that was in the original was the a design that looked like you were getting your money's worth for CG. Now, what does that mean? We don't want dollar signs going by in the screen to let everybody know how much money we had to make these films, but it was in the design of it. And we went through a lot of designs of what this guy should look like. And even a good friend, John Berg, uh, for me, did what, you know, really nice little thing that, and it's faded over time because, but it is all, you know, backlit and everything dimensional that uh, you would, you know, you wouldn't even, you couldn't see an armature in it if there was one. You couldn't, uh, you know, you could still, uh, you know, do it with a computer or you could even back off and do it stop motion if you made it more opaque. Anyway, it was a really good idea, but it seemed like I've seen it. You know, I've seen something like this before. You know, what can we do this different? So my brilliant wife came up with this, which is, this is all her, her this is her original thing, which was because the character comes out of a piece of stained glass, that it's like flat, right? And it's made up of these different pieces. And we thought, boy, that's a great idea. She came up with actually in the jacuzzi. Uh, great idea. It kind of looks though like a doll, you know, like a paper thing. It could have been like a commercial I had done years ago for, for uh, uh, paper, I figured what it was, paper towels or something that we're walking. You know, is, is that gonna be a good enough, you know, a mystery enough to see it, to spend all the computer graphic time doing something that looks like it might be a stop mo piece of, uh, you know, copper painted over something. And she came up with the idea of having all the pieces being separate. And of course she couldn't draw them that way, but look at all the pieces that were on there. If these were all separate, there's no way that you could imagine how you could ever have made the thing. Right. Great idea, great idea. That was the thing that it needed. Never seen it before. Hopefully it'll be powerful enough and strong enough when the audience sees it that they'll be wowed. Then when we got into designing it, I made sure that the pieces of glass, instead of being whatever they are, a quarter of an inch or three, they were an inch thick because it was hallucination. So we made them an inch thick so they were heavy. Each piece of glass, which is 100 or plus pieces of glasses, glass. And I made sure each one of them to add power to it because it needed to be a, a horror, a nightmare, because it's a nightmare to this priest that's imagining it that the pieces be, be bowed out. So they were convex in the direction, just slightly convex in the direction that the, uh, the priest was, that the character was walking toward the priest. So if you just look at the still from one of the side views, you know, everything has got a forward motion as well as the guy, the, pre, the guy carrying this sword also, you know, there's just a lot of aggression in that. That's an important thing to, to be able to, uh, uh, you know, to add to something, to be able to plus it out, make the shot better and better and better than you've done before. So that was a real win from my point of view to being, to seeing what we can add to a shot. And that's not going to happen, you know, if everybody's kind of working on their own, you know, they're going to do good work, but there's a unity that needs to be done. And I was probably the only one who'd had much contact with Barry Levinson, the director, and having read the scriptures to know that this is a, you know, a big scene with a big, with a nightmare in it it needs to be plussed out. So I was the only one that could really kind of communicate it to everybody and, and direct them. And I think that's, I think that's an important thing. So I